early 2002, I sat down with a couple people to um, start a party that would play songs or strictly songs that were classics, you know, things that basically we liked. You know, the, the bottle popping culture had started around then and um, it was kind of getting real big. So as far as gigs, we, we really didn't have much to, to do or we were just getting kind of tired of that culture. So we were like, let's do our own parties. We just got tired of working for promoters and as three DJs in the city, we were just frustrated, you know, with the way the industry was going, the way music was going. We had libraries of this great music and we just really needed an outlet, you know. We came together and was like, you know, Herbert was like, let's, let's do our own party. So we started out at this place called Star Foods down on First Street and First Avenue. We moved it over to Tribeca and it was great, but you know, it was still a movie theater slash restaurant. So Canal Room was right down the street and you know, we walked over one night and was like, hey, why don't somebody come check out this party? And then uh, they came, they saw it, they loved it, and we were at Canal Room for a couple years. And then um, we looked at LPR and we was like, yo, LPR's nice, man. Like a lot of people are going there. We're, it, it was getting a big buzz at the time because they had just opened up. The advantages of being at Le Poisson Rouge, there's a lot of things. There's the right staffing, the right technical needs, the right energy, and it's, it's a larger maximum capacity. We were growing, we needed more room. The sound system is incredible, it's spacious. It's big, but it's still intimate. And uh, the location is perfect. It's right in the heart of the village, you know. It feels good here because I've been to other places that, you know, pretty big, but I feel like somebody died there. But when I come here, it feels alive, it feels good. It's action and dancing and music and everything. So I feel like I'm back in the days. It's, it's, it's a special thing, this marriage between us and LPR. It's been like one of the best things we've ever done, you know. We've had a lot of artists stop by. Um, uh, some of my favorite, Alicia Myers, uh, Mick Murphy of the System, and you know, they'll just grab the mic and sing. Uh, nice and Smooth came and did a couple songs. Um, wow, Q-Tip, uh, Spike Lee. Questlove. Tracy Morgan comes by and hangs out. Um, Kid from Kid and Play. Rock him. Mr. C, of course. Uh, Salt and Pepper. Peter Guns, uh, guys from Boot Camp Click. DJ Scratch from EPMD. It's that kind of place. Or, you know, music is first and the rest of it comes second. And that's the real thing about freedom. That's the defining characteristic is we always put music first. This is music that we love. You know, classics, old school hip hop, you know, old school reggae, and, and even some of the new stuff that we kind of like, but it's, it's true to us. You know, this, it's in our hearts. The main thing of the Freedom Party is the music and the soul. To me, I feel like the Freedom Party is the DJ's party. So it's been, it's been a great ride, and you know, we'll ride it till the wheels fall off, as they say, you know? 